Hey, welcome to the video. Uh, this is Martin with the Brick Building Kids. Guys, today I have a video to share with you um, that I feel is very important for where we're at in uh, our current lifestyle. Now, um, I've been asked about some streaming capabilities and what we can do for our kids with our schools, our local organizations, um, to start making streaming easier. So I've seen a lot of equipment, um, some things that you guys can buy that are extremely expensive. Um, I myself, I love OBS Studio. Um, it's something that Chase and I have streamed with for a while. Um, so I think this is a very, very valid solution. I'm gonna show with you guys how this can be done with just a few simple clicks of a button and you can transfer back and forth from camera to camera using things you most likely have at home. Um, I'm in my home office and um, I just, I just grabbed a few things, plugged it into my laptop, and uh, set this up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen and show you guys how I do this. But basically, you know, from your laptop, if you can get a hotspot connection, if you have a camera like I have on your on your laptop, if you can find a USB camera and possibly one more camera, you can do some pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got and what I used, and let's get started. Here we go. All right, so that was cool. So this is all controlled within the OBS app. This is no editing yet. All I'm doing is manipulating through the app. So um, let's go to just me. So what am I using? So I have obviously the, the camera uh, built into uh, the laptop. So I also have another little camera that I bought a long time ago on Amazon. Um, it's just a basic USB camera, one you can plug in. And uh, my thoughts are, this camera and the integrated camera in your laptop, um, you can do a couple different cool things with. So we can set my integrated camera on the laptop up to a scoreboard and we can watch a scoreboard. We can flip over to um, this camera here and we can set this up stationary on something. I'm gonna set this up outside. So we can just set this up on one specific area. So say you're um, at a wrestling match or at a basketball match and you want to get a full a full view of the entire court. So we're going to use that camera as, as our main camera. So if I want to focus on just me, I can go back to just me. Maybe this is your announcer. Maybe this is your scoreboard. We can turn this and we can set it so it's always on something. So that's a couple different things that we can do. So where is this coming from? It's Funko Pops. So um, this is actually really cool. So I have, I'm gonna switch back to me now. So I have, and you can you can do this with you know, another camcorder, but I just set up our, um, our SLR camera. Um, I downloaded a driver that converts this from a camera to a webcam. So that's why I said, if you guys have any additional camcorders or multiple webcams you can set these up to obs studio and you can toggle back and forth to these different devices obs is free the webcams are relatively cheap um, so i'm going to show you how i tie all this together and how you can set up scenes within obs that will i'm going to allow you to like i said toggle back and forth to some different views like this very casually um, and as you can see, plug in some of these images as well. So I'm going to share my screen and show you guys how we set this up. All right, guys. So this is the OBS Studio. So you can see on my screen, I've got um, the main display. This window here is what is going to be um, streaming to your devices. So streaming, that's going to be a whole, whole other thing we're going to set up shortly. Um, but with OBS, it kind of ties everything together. So we've got our main scene, which you know has me on, on the top. Um, my thoughts are this could be something, you know, since it's directed right back towards me, we could move this over and it could be focused on a scoreboard. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can change the, uh, uh, you can change this display up here. So this is one display. So I have all of my sources of video or sources of what's on the screen set up in here. So this is my main my main scene. 
So if I want to switch to just me, I click here, you see just me. And this is a scene that I've set up these sources here. We can add sources, we can add um, different images, different media, different text, but we can set them up here. This is super intuitive. Um, so I added the BBK logo. So I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna show you guys how you can create those overlays. Because the overlays are gonna be, I mean, if you're a school, if you're an organization, advertising, I mean, that's gonna be really nice for you guys. So I'm just gonna add, um, I'm creating new, I already have one. So I'm gonna add existing BBK logo. It's gonna be really, really big. So I'll shrink this, I'll move it down, and done. So we can go back to the main scene. Um, we're done looking at me. So we've got our picture here. So I'm going to tell you, we're gonna spruce this up a little bit. So I'm gonna add text. We're gonna say text one, properties for text one. So we're gonna go score board. Okay, scoreboard. Okay, right here. All right, so this is only gonna display on this one scene. So this is, like I said, I would essentially use this display as the main view of whatever field or whatever venue you're looking at. So the uh, swimming is kind of my focus right now. So as I've set up these scenes, um, we've got the main scene, which is everything. You've got the built-in scene, which is, again, just me. And you've got the swimmer-only scene. So you can name this whatever you'd like, but I'm looking swimmer-only scene. I can, if I want to focus on one of the kids that is, you know, that's going really fast or that's about to, to finish their lap, I can move this. I can focus in on them. And then we can quickly switch back to the main view. And if we just want to view the main display, let's set that up. So this is my small webcam. So I'm gonna build a new scene. So we're gonna make, add a new scene. We're gonna call this um, full, full field. So, okay. So in the full field, we need to, we need to add a video capture device. So video capture device, is our small webcam okay so I'm gonna add existing small webcam okay so I can I can do whatever I need to do to move this and what I'm gonna do as well is just because I want to show some focus here but kind of move, change the focus to the full field we're gonna add the other cams so if I go video capture I'm gonna go built-in camera It's still going to allow me to be here and me being your scoreboard or whatever you want it to be. And then we'll go, we'll add back in the other video capture device. So that would be not the built in camera, it would be the Canon. So we'll add existing Canon. Okay. And we're just going to move this over here. Okay, so my small webcam, it's kind of, it's, it's an old one, it's kind of clunky, so it's only square, so your displays may look a little different, but let's toggle back and forth. So if we go back to the main scene where we're focusing on just one swimmer, we're showing the full field and we're showing the scoreboard, so I'm going to go back to me, maybe I'm announcing or maybe I am just the scoreboard, there's some transition, the kids are, are warming up, a lot of different things we can do here. So... I like going over, you know, when I showed you guys the intro, we can queue up videos to, to play right over top of this, okay? And then we can go back and change our display again. All right, so let's go, let's look at our streaming, okay? So there's a lot of kind of mis, misguidance on what you need to stream. You need a thousand subscribers, you don't need a thousand subscribers. so. You don't need a thousand subscribers um, if you're doing this on on a laptop. Um, if you're doing this on a mobile device, which is, is kind of hard, you would need a thousand subscribers. So um, you want to go into you want to go into okay. 
So you're gonna to wanna to go into your YouTube studio and you're going to set up um, your stream. So you're gonna make a new stream and it's going, here, we'll, we'll make a new one. So we'll go stream. Okay, so you're gonna to need to take the stream key, which I'm not, I'm not gonna share with you guys, but you're gonna copy this stream key and you are gonna go back into your settings and you're gonna put this stream key right in here and when you start streaming it's going to start streaming on your YouTube channel I, I would recommend a couple of kind of a trial trial and error to see how it works for you but OBS is awesome I mean it, it is very intuitive I, I know some of these features do look a little complex um, do look a little intimidating but you know I, I assure you in the current age that we're living in for me it's not cost effective to buy you know thousand dollar devices but for you maybe it is but if you are a middle school team and you're looking to get some exposure for your basketball team your wrestling team uh, whatever it may be I mean this is a very solid solution and put it in the hands of some of the the younger kids to come up with how to run this because it's really it, it's really a great free tool. OBS cost me absolutely nothing. It's a free download. Like I said, if you ask some families, I'm sure someone has random webcams, random devices laying around. All these plug into USB. So, I mean, you should be good to go without buying anything else. So I would, um, I would welcome the feedback, welcome the questions. Um, like I said, I, this, is, this is a very easy tool to use. And if you're low on funds, this is a very economical solution and there's always things being added on um, you can go through the different inputs the different capture devices and you can show a lot of really really cool stuff if you're looking at plays we can build in our credits to just roll right through here um, I'm really excited 